Hey all, Power here for TGN. This video is going to talk about the viable classes for the new 1.2 patch for competitive PvPers. 1.2 has brought an entirely new dynamic to Star Wars. Uh, this is a much faster paced game now. I will leave you to decide if it is for the better. The game's balance has drastically changed and many say it's for the worst. Uh, you can see that with trends on the forums as well as uh, Population numbers decreasing, people re-rolling. The current strongest 8-man setup in my eyes is 8 Focus Sentinels. It's just hard to justify running Sages anymore uh, in any spec um, and any other tank besides the Shadow. Right now, currently, the top performing DPS are Focus Spec Sentinels, of course, Vanguard DPS, and Gunslingers. Sentinels are reaching crits consistently over 6k, and I have a guildie who's topped out at 8.5k. Of course, that's not on a fully year target, but still. Therefore, uh, with this amount of damage, it goes to say that the group's efficiency is substantially increased each sentinel you add to the group. This exponential increase is the absolute epitome of imbalance. Gunslingers now have an ability in the shared tree that give a target a 20% heal debuff and 20% armor penetration. This same ability... Hello. <laughs> channels direct damage that is incredible. I mean, incredible. I get hit with this channeling ability as a shadow tank for 60% of my life sometimes if I'm dotted up before, which increases the damage of that. Vanguards and power techs, uh, DPS spec is also a notable mention for 1.2. With the new revamp on sustainable bursts, they are truly a force to be reckoned with. The two dots for the Vanguard crit for 500 and 700 to 800 respectively, uh, that's every two seconds. High impact bolt crits pull 4.5k, give them a power relic and a warzone expertise spot and you're going to see 5k crits. Uh, they also have a spammable ability, Ion Pulse, uh, which if talented hits extremely hard. Lastly, I'm going to talk about Shadow Tank specs that are completely over the top. My 31 point Kinetic build is a top performer, along with the 27-0 Hybrid Force and Balance spec, which provides much more damage uh, without the utility, group utility, that's needed with the new burst damage that's uncontrollable and unhealable. Um, these specs are so strong because Shadows are allowed to use full damage gear with their tank specs, receiving far more survivability than needed with questionably the best utility in the game. 1.2's new balance makes adjusting your comp almost physically impossible if you're trying uh, if you're fighting an FOTM setup. There currently is no counter to Focus Sentinel since they have such such substantial defensive cooldowns as well as burst out of nowhere. Vanguards, on the other hand, can be somewhat countered uh, by tech dispelling the incendiary round, which allows them to increase their damage and high impact bolt through the rain of fire talent. This burst that 1.2 brings to the table is, is unhealable. Healers can no longer keep people up through damage. Healers are now running out of resource and running themselves useless Hello. once they have done so. This patch has strained most either to quit or reroll. As you can see, if you're a Republic player like myself, you'll fight pre-maids who have four marauders as pubs. Flavor of the month is added again in Star Wars The Old Republic. Power signing out. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.TV.